Good afternoon, guys. Tonight I'm hunting in a new spot. Um, I'm on my way to the stand now. It's the longest walk to the stand that we have. Um, it sits up on this ridge on an oak flat. We have to head straight up over this hill, cross this bridge, we're gonna head up this hill and cut up, and the stand is up next to a bunch of downed trees that, have, that fell down this summer. Um, but we put a camera up there and um, there's more deer there in that area than we've seen in previous years. I have a good wind for the stand, but I stopped here to spray down and put some Evercomb on my boots. But I'm gonna throw my stuff on my back again and we're gonna keep walking. We got probably another two, 300 yards to go. All right, guys, I'm sneaking up to the stand now. And I stopped right here at this area um, because there's a lot of little shrubs around here. And every year there's always a bunch of rubs on the tree. And as I'm walking in, I see one, two, three, four, uh, four or five little shrubs here, little uh, saplings with rubs. We got this tree right here, those two little ones, and we got that one there. There's another one right there on that tree. These big trees fell down, so these deer up on this hill, they have to either come down this side of the hill or down on the other side of my stand is right on the other side of these big trees that fell down. Also, the acorn crop this year is really good. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to to get set up, but we did get set up. Um, it's been a while since I hunted here. Walking in, like you saw, a lot of buck activity. And um, now right behind me in my stand, there is a good deer trail, decent, it's an okay trail. The neighbors are spreading manure on the cornfield that is literally plastered on that whole other ridge over there. So we'll see how we fare tonight. We might or we might not see deer. Back in the summer, we had a series of serious storms. This ridge up here took the brunt of it. This ridge took the brunt of the uh, storm aftermath. Um, tons of trees down here. This tree, this tree over here, and then the ones I showed you walking in, all those over there, they just came tumbling down and it really opened up that area over there so I can see actually out to that field really well. Oh my word, buck down. Oh my word, I just shot a buck. Guys, eight yards, eight freaking yards. <laughs> Guys, there is a buck 
laying on the ground over. Oh my word. I gotta. I, where, what the frick did I put my phone? Get open. BBD. Uh -uh. Yep. Big, 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 big buck down. I had, I have had a bunch of big bucks on camera, and he wasn't even one of them. But I saw that deer, and I've made the mistake last year passing up too many deer, and I was like, I gotta do it. And he was eight yards. You can't pass up eight yards, man. That was a nuts deer. All right, I gotta keep calling people. Oh boy, you guys, holy crap. I took a video, I was talking about the trees, okay? Five seconds later, I look over, there's a deer, buck. Fiddles around, comes right over here, eight yards. I just smoked him. Brand new bow, brand new Matthews VXR. Absolutely smoked him. And you know what? I see him dead. He is laying at the bottom of the hill, dead. I just finished calling a bunch of people um, but now we have the real work of getting down there, getting him field dressed, and then I have to figure out how to drag him up this hill just so I can get a four-wheeler up here. Or the gator, I don't know. We got our work cut out for us. Fortunately, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so we'll be up late and we'll be working. <laughs> hey guys, two videos ago, I mentioned how I didn't feel comfortable taking that shot on a doe. And here we are two days later and I just smoked a buck. Eight yards, man. Eight yards. You don't have to be good at 60 yards to shoot a deer. That thing was eight yards. And the funny thing is my brother convinced me to come to this stand because he just came and he checked this trail camera down here this afternoon. And he told me, you should probably go up there. And I had a good wind and it all worked out. So we're going to pack up. We're going to climb down. I'm going to head down there, get some pictures, and start getting this guy gutted. All right, you guys, we're out of the stand. I want to see where I, think I hit him. Was he, was he right here? Yeah. He was right here. Let's see if I can find any blood. Look those are his tracks. You know what? I don't care. We're going to go put my hands on this deer. This deer is a beautiful buck. I mean... And a long time coming too. See him laying right there. If you can see him, I'll put a circle around where he is. I don't know if you can see him there. Got under the fence. I was able to sneak up under, under there and lift it up a little bit. Quite the deer trail here. Going up that way. That's pretty cool. Uh, I know where he's laying. We're just going to walk this fence line and we'll see him. Oh, but. buck and that shot baby this blood though man look at that blood holy crap dude mm, he smells like a buck oh baby there he is that's my buck dang that's a big deer body on this thing is huge. Perfect long shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The brown sign on that guy. Solid buck, man. Solid buck. Now that I actually look on him, he is one that we had on camera. Kind of when I when I pick his head up and look at him. And this deer it's an old deer. I think that's an old deer. Look at the nose on that dude. There's a stud old deer, that growth. And the body on this thing is just enormous. An enormous body. Solid, solid deer. Nice buck. That's the arrow. Double long, man. Double long. Now the real work begins. We have to field dress this dude. And then I think I'm gonna come in from down there with either the gator or something and get this buck loaded up. I, 
I can't load this deer by myself. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be a chore. Alrighty. The hard work is done. It's dressed. I say dressed, feel dressed, gutted, whatever you want to say. It's gutted. And this deer has an insane amount of fat. Like I'm, I cut open the uh, stomach, not the stomach, but the stomach lining. And I kept cutting, I'm like, where in the world is the stomach? And I just kept cutting through layer and layer of fat. This deer, I got on camera just yesterday. I mean, I checked the cameras yesterday and this buck showed up and I looked at it, I was like, wow, that deer is old. He's got a decent rack. I mean, it's not the most impressive rack, but he's a nice buck. I am very happy with this deer. Probably scores pretty close to my last buck um, that we called Trash Can. Last year, I was actually going after a buck that I called Mr. Smith and he was a super old deer and he got the best of me. So to put a mature buck like this down on the ground, uh, it's really exciting. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this guy uh, in my stomach. There's a lot of meat on that deer. Well, I'll let him hang overnight. It's gonna be cool overnight. And uh, I'll get to cutting in the morning probably. So now the actual really, really hard work begins. I have to figure out how to get this deer to the house. It's been a good night. I'll be back for you, so don't go anywhere. Just finished dragging this thing about 600 yards. And boy, was that a tough one. That took about an hour just to drag him 600 yards. Now I got him to a point where I can hook him to the four-wheeler. All home. That was the longest, that was the longest drag of my entire life. That was hard. That thing has to weigh at least 150, 175 pounds right now, as it is, fully dressed. This, that, the, the amount of fat and weight on this deer is insane. Probably because he hasn't bred yet. He hasn't been breeding any does yet. Not quite there yet. Man, he's a big deer. Alrighty, guys. All the, the really hard work is done. Getting him from where he died to here is probably close to a mile almost. And it took me and my little brother, because no one else is home except me and my little brother. And me and him dragged that thing like 600 yards and it took like an hour, it seemed like. And then we took the four wheeler down and drug him the rest of the way. Because we couldn't really quite get the four wheeler back to where he actually was. Um, man, that was, that was a hard job, but we got it done. And he's here laying in the yard over there. I'm gonna wait till my dad and brother get home. But uh, we got a beautiful buck. I'm not gonna complain at all. That is a beautiful buck, big body. It's gonna be plenty of meat, plenty of uh, food. And uh, you know, we still, I still have a couple more doe tags. So the hunting is not over. Um, I think I might take a break for a little bit. Um, maybe make some sort of other videos or maybe I'll get my brother to make some videos. That'll be cool, right? Um, but yeah, my buck is on the ground. And, you know, yeah, I am super excited. Hey, what is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Lucy. 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 L Lucy. It's blood. Oh, yeah. That, that feels kind of nice. Dude, that thing is a moose. Oh my word! Is that the, the big one? <laughs> the old one. Oh yeah. Yeah, the old one. I, it's, I, he's probably 100, 150, 175 right now. Yeah, he is. That's after, in, after I yeah, feel this. where like it was but i mean that that shows the actual hole that's two inch cut from rage and that thing put an absolute oh, mega hole in that animal all righty 
That's about the best I can do. I'd say for the first time, um, I did a decent job. And yes, this is my first time ever completely skinning my own animal. I've gutted them before and boned them out. But I've, it's my first time ever skinning them. But you know, you got to start somewhere. I think it's it's okay. You know, I accidentally cut into the tenderloin here. And uh, uh, I cut into the neck meat quite a bit. And it's it's not terrible. It looks like, I mean, on the camera, it looks like a deer that has been skinned. And I guess I'll come over here quick and show you the buck one last time. That's the buck, eight point, a little lopsided, but I think it's cool. Real old deer, I'm gonna guess he's four years old. And uh, yeah, I think I'll do a European mount. Um, we'll skin the stuff off the head and then uh, yeah, boil it down. So that was gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I like. I really hope you enjoyed because finally I actually got a deer, and uh, and it feels good to have a deer on the ground, especially being I didn't get a deer last year. So that's awesome. Super glad I finally got it done. Might throw in a little bit of footage here if, um, from boning the deer out. So I guess I'll give you a quick look here before we end the video. Here uh, I finished boning this deer out, and yeah, got a ton of meat. All the crappy scraps there. And then we have this cooler here is completely full. And then this one is uh, half, three quarter full. So we got a lot of meat. It's going to feed us for a while. It's been a long night. I want to take a shower, get these gross, muddy get these bloody clothes off me and go to bed. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a like. If you wanna see some of the gear that I use, links in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.